Good morning. We are gathered on Treaty 6 territory and I acknowledge the Métis people who share a deep connection to this land. I am joined here today by Timur Nsioglu, Senior Talent Matt Buyer and co-founder of F7 Entertainment Group. And I would also like to thank the Barscona Theatre for hosting us here today. On February 28th, Daniel Smith released Budget 2023, which was a failure for Albertans and Alberta business. Smith's budget not only springs delayed costs onto Alberta families after the election, it forecasts growth in GDP and employment growth that are much higher than any private sector forecast. In some cases, Smith's projected double employment growth or GDP than business experts have, like she pulled those rosy numbers out of the air. Smith's fraudulent budget is bad for business and bad for Albertans. Having smart and well-informed targets can make or break the function of a provincial budget and the well-being for the businesses that operate here. So that is why it's so alarming when in Danielle Smith's business plan for the Ministry of Culture, she decimated any ambition and targets to support our art and culture live event industries. To look back, almost 78% of Albertans attended an art activity or event in 2019 and 2020. Due to the global pandemic, that number dropped to 31% in 2020 and 2021. By the, in, by the resilience and ingenuity of the arts and entertainment sector, like Timmer's company, or the theaters we're standing in today, artists and programmers were still able to bring entertainment to Albertans at a time when they arguably needed it most. During this decline in attendance, however, the government would still include the business plan targets for their culture ministry to have 60 to 70% of Albertans attend art activities and events. These targets ensure government is working towards supporting these businesses and artists that Albertans enjoy so we can reach that target. While attendance to art and entertainment events is slow to return, as we knew would ha be a consequence of the pandemic and a government that did not support our private sector entertainment businesses, Danielle Smith and the UCP have cut their target of getting Albertans to live events in half. Last year, even with low attendance levels, the UCP still aimed to return attendance to pre-pandemic levels. Now, with Danielle Smith at the wheel, the UCP have thrown up their hands, given up, and left the artists and entertainment businesses in the dust. We must support a healthy environment for artists to be able to create art and the space and the funding to do it. We must support the infrastructure investment and innovate that business like entertainment rely on to attract talent to our province and Albertans to attend. In the last years of the NDP government, the GDP of Alberta's creative and cultural industries grew from 5.1 billion to 5.3 billion. And while the pandemic created some significant challenges that this industry still continue to face, the lack of support from Danielle Smith and the UCP has stagnated growth and really shown our arts and entertainment professionals that they are not a priority for this government. An Alberta NDP government will support artists and create a resilient and innovative economy that will promote good jobs, exciting opportunities and attract talent from all over the world. To share his thoughts, I would now like to turn things over to Timur. Thank you. Sorry, I'm just Hi, uh, my name is Timur Siaglu. I'm one of the founders and senior talent buyer of F7 Entertainment Group. Uh, we're uh, a newer uh, full service national music promoter headquartered in Alberta with employees across the country. We have brought artists from all over the world that people know and love. Uh, a couple of names, uh, Sloan would be one more recently. Um, in the past year alone, we have put over 500 bands on stages across the country in front of tens of thousands of fans. In Alberta alone, we've employed hundreds of people directly and many more indirectly. We work with independent venues all the way to large festival sites. It's a testament to the professionals, the venues and the artists here in Alberta that we can successfully host successful events like the festivals we see here in Edmonton uh, to, sorry, my apologies. <laughs> um, yeah, but many of, the, many of the Alberta live event spaces are suffering. That's basically where I wanna start. The pandemic disproportionately hurt the live event industry and it will take many more years for it to recover. 
Live events are a critical part of the Alberta economy and just one of the arts and entertainment ecosystems that generates billions in tax revenues and employs a quarter of a million people. It is, key, it is a key part to helping diversify and create resilience in the Alberta economy. Live events are more than just a critical economic driver. Live events create a shared experience, bringing people together, creating happiness and community. One of the most amazing parts of the entertainment industry is the immense crossover. The same people who set up the sound equipment at the country music festivals will also work in the sound department at the major, next major blockbuster being filmed right here in Alberta. We use the same buildings, we use the same theaters, such as this one, <laughs> uh, for plays, for bands, for school graduations, and even hockey games. It's basically like a three-legged stool. The live music venues are a key support for an entire industry. You can't shorten or knock out one leg and not affect the entire system, even if you can't see it. I ask that the government at any level to aim to support our artists, our technicians, our builders, and everyone else in the entertainment industry. Recognizing this industry is the important is the econom, important economic and social contributors that we are here to celebrate and see do amazing things. Thank you, and I believe you are happy to answer any questions. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Timmer. Catherine Murkowski, Alberta Today. Um, you're holding this news conference uh, on the eve of the Junos in this city, and I'm I'm wondering if you could speak. I guess like we're we're hosting this major national event here to celebrate music, but at the same time, um, you say we're we're feeling the strain that the the arts has not been um, funded to the right degree. Can you can you speak about the timing of this with the Junos? Well, I think the timing of this comes from the budget that Daniel Smith and the UCP released. When we saw the targets being as low as they were, um, it's significant signaling to the artists and entertainment industry in the province that they're not being supported. So that was the timing, is the budget that she's released is, is very concerning, and it's simply quite lazy of Daniel Smith and the UCP. And, and to follow up, um, during question period last week, um, the the answers you got is that um, all small businesses have been struggling and Alberta spent more on the arts than other provinces. Uh, and, and that was kind of the response to the last question. Um, so what would what would you say to that, that Alberta got more than than other places, that everybody's struggling. Um, I would say that the artists in the entertainment uh, industry and sector are concerned and they're not buying that they've been supported. When we look at the amount of venues that closed during the pandemic and that they're still struggling, uh, we have some significant concerns that they've lowered their targets uh, as low as they have. They're not even concerned about making sure that Albertans get access to the arts and entertainment industries. With an Alberta NDP government, we want to ensure that Everybody knows that artists will be at the table and that we have a clear plan to make sure that the artists and entertainment sectors are supported. Uh, we have our platform rolling out and we have a strong support in that platform. So I, I would suggest that this Daniel Smith UCP government has been lazy and they're not supporting it. Despite all the, the boastful words that they're saying, the artists are telling us that it's absolutely not true and we see it in their numbers and their target. for watching and to learn more check out albertasfuture.ca